Hi, welcome to 365 Prints. Uh, today I've got a, I want to do a short video, a little how-to. I know there's other how-to videos on this out there, but the more we spread the knowledge, the more options you have to get your information, the better. Uh, I'm working on this little guy. This is um, actually a little uh, glasses holder. Um, I want the base to be printed at a higher inf at a, a higher infill than than the rest. And uh, here's a short little video on how to do that. Okay. <clears throat> test, test. So, I had the need <clears throat> on this object here to print, a, a, to have different infill uh, on the bottom, on the base here. I wanted about a 40% infill on the base and then maybe about a 10% infill on the top part here. And that's because I wanted some weight to this thing, but I wanted that weight on the bottom, um, just on this base. So <clears throat> how, did, how did I do that? <clears throat> Here's the steps I went through. If there's a better way to do this, please let me know in the comments below. So first thing we need to do is to slice this because we need to determine uh, the layers here. So let's let's give it an old slice of Rooney here. Um, and let's see, what are we at? We're at an 18% infill here. So I want to start this print with Let's do it, uh, infill, with about a 40%. Let's go 42%. And then uh, let's slice it again here to get our layers back up. And then at about right, and I'm using the arrow keys here to move through the layers so it's a little easier. At about right here, 19.32, is where I want it to to be a 10% infill. So I went up to here under editing. Uh, so it says click the icon to change the objects settings. And I want to, I went here to height range modifier. <clears throat> If you click this range here, we can uh, put in a start and a stop uh, range, height range. So for the start, I'm going to do this, what is that, 1932? I can, can't see that very well, 19.32. Now, once I plug that in and, and, and click somewhere or tab off, it goes back to the 3D view. So I'm going to click slice again and then in that field I'm going to put the in 134.92 the very last layer and then let's uh, see if I if I tab off again yeah I'll have to slice again so let's slice again <clears throat> okay um, so now I have my range set. If I click on this icon, click on this icon to change the object settings, and I click on infill, now it lets me change the infill for just this section. So let's change this to my 10%. And as you can see, it I, I could also change the, uh, this, the fill pattern. Um, clicking slice again <clears throat> and so now if we scroll down we can see that this is a a 10% infill here 
and going further, further down, that's there's my 42% uh, infill. <clears throat> so I uh, so I probably should have changed. Now that you can you can see that uh, very well. So um, yeah, that's how you would change. That's how I did it for this particular part. <clears throat> you can also do this for uh, let's say different parts. Let's let's bring in a couple of different parts here. Uh, that's fine. And this one. And let's position these correctly. That one there. That one there. Okay. Let's say I wanted to do whoops. Let's say I wanted to do uh, this part. How did they get wonkied? Okay. Let's say I want to do this part with a 10% infill, but I want this part to be, say, that, that 42. So uh, here for the lips, I'm going to click on that editing, and we're going to add an infill. And let's do the same thing for the mustache here, an infill. And we'll change this one to that 10%. And we can leave that one at 42. So if we slice these objects, and zoom in a little. And if we scroll down, you can see that uh, we have completely two separate in, uh, infills here. And that can be done for, uh, I think, just about virtually any setting in here. So uh, let's say for the lips, um, let's click on here and add settings. So if I just hover over here, you can see we can, uh, here's the different, um, I guess, sections or groups of, of settings that we can change. For example, if I just click on slicing, okay, now I need to add what specific setting here. So the base layer height is a good one. Let's apply that. So now if I click on this lips three here selected, we can see that I can change this layer height to, to point three. <coughs> and the other object will just follow uh, the settings uh, in the settings here. So uh, this might be difficult to Oh, look at that. It crashed on me. Um, that might be because I'm using the latest, the latest version. Hmm. Let's try that again. Doggone it. Hmm. 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 Um, let's get these down correctly. Okay, let's let's do that same thing. Let's add a base layer height, and let's just do the same thing here. And for this object, we'll do let's see the mustache point two, lips point three. Okay, let's try it. Slice. Ah, and it crashed. Hmm, interesting. So, I'm just going to be a little, a little persistent here. I'm sorry. Let's, uh, Okay, um, so it did it for the infill just fine, right? So this one's 10%. Yeah, see that worked. But if I try to do it for different slicing layers, it's, it's crashing right now. So uh, 
Anyway, <clears throat> sorry that <laughs> that took too long. Um, eventually, that will get fixed, and we will be able to add different uh, different items here. You know, I could put fuzzy skin on one of these and not the other, and uh, even brim support material. So, um, you know, in the future, that won't be crashing like it is. Uh, because I, I am using the very latest of uh, of Slicer. Where is it? I'm on 2.5.59.0. And this might have a lot to do with I'm using the Arachne um, perimeter generator. So ah, that, that might have something to do with it. Anyway. Uh, that's how you would do different settings for different parts. Um, one other thing I do want to mention, let's say I did add this slicing, this base layer height here. I won't slice it so it'll crash, but uh, say I added a bunch of things here and I, and now I want to get rid of this slicing. I want to keep both infills, but get rid of the slicing setting on just this part. I was struggling on how to do that uh, because if you if you you can't don't delete, that's going to delete the whole doggone thing here. You need to go in and add setting again to slicing and just deselect that check mark, apply it, and you'll see it'll disappear there. So uh, don't hit delete because uh, it'll delete the entire object. You have to go in and remove the check mark. That's all I got here.